name is Dan Knoll. I'm uh, a, a, a director of product management at Red Hat in charge of the uh, in-vehicle OS initiative. And I'm going to give some general and broad kind of overview of, of what we've been doing, especially in the community, uh, in the spirit of our uh, the initiative that we have undertaken here at Red Hat. So as you've heard from all of our uh, comments presenters today, the automotive industry is undergoing an exciting transformation. The industry aims to advance this concept of SDV by providing you know, the latest advancements in computing technology, enabling functional functionality uh, uh, while holding strict ISO standards that govern functional safety uh, of electronic systems within road vehicles. And through collaboration across this, these ecosystems, the automotive ecosystem, cloud ecosystem, IoT ecosystem, and functional safety communities, Red Hat believes it will be possible, it is possible, it's necessary to extend these open source practices into the vehicle to create faster scale and simultaneously provide the important standardization and consolidation that'll help drive our software defined vehicle uh, to a reality. We encourage all stakeholders to participate in one or all of the related standards projects and learn how open source is shaping the next generation of automotive computing. We invite you to participate in the CentOS Automotive SIG uh, that we list here. Uh, the Eclipse uh, Software Defined Vehicle Working Group, which was uh, discussed in detail at this presentation. SOFI, the Scalable Open Architecture for Embedded Edge, led by ARM, that initiative is very exciting uh, with uh, common threads of, of, uh, uh, of functional themes. AGL, the Automotive Grade Linux Initiative, and the ELISA project, ELISA, which is enabling Linux in safety applications. So we really invite you to join us here to create the type of synergy, standardization, sense of community, and to drive standards in our industry. The next slide is our mission here. Uh, let, me, let me just back up and say last year at Summit in 2021, Red Hat Summit, we announced we're targeting to deliver the first continuously certified Linux platform for road vehicles. And over the past year, we've been collaborating with the automotive industry in uh, many of the groups you've seen in the previous slide uh, through our work within spaces like the CentOS Automotive SIG, Eclipse, SDV, uh, and SOFI, like we've mentioned, to deliver on this mission, which is to deliver an open, safe, and secure Linux-based in-vehicle OS as the foundation for software-defined vehicles to drive advanced innovation. I hope that's uh, that's clear, and I wanted to repeat that and and, and under, underscore it. Whoops. So, with that in mind, I'd like you to invite you to join us and everyone at Red Hat Summit 2022, coming up in just about a month. This will be, we believe, a good opportunity for you to join us in continuing this conversation about the software-defined vehicle, I'll learn about what we've been working on this past year in the automotive space and hear additional stories of innovation in automotive and other uh, markets uh, within the open source communities. And both a place and a, a platform, Summit is where we all come together, wherever we are, to share in these journeys and explore what's next uh, in tech, tech innovation. Like I say, it won't be limited to automotive in, in any stretch, but there's some very exciting content that we're planning for you that does focus on automotive. So I encourage everyone to, to join us either in person or virtually, and you can read it, register as is indicated here at red.redhat.com slash summit.